Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about hash function criteria. Means the type of attacks that are possible in the concept of message integrity and whether our function, hash function is going to be resistant to those attacks or not. These things we are going to discuss here. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the basic intuition, how our hash function works and how it is exponential. All these things discussed in our previous class. Please watch those class and come back here. This is a continuation class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So what happens? We take a message and this message is sent into the hash function. This hash, fun hash function is going to generate a message digest. Using this message digest, we are going to identify whether our message is modified or not. This is how we are going to provide message integrity. Now we need to understand what type of attacks we are going to have. And we need to generate a hash function that should be very, very resistant to those attacks. That much complexity that hash function should have. Means it is the only thing which is converting this message to message digest. So if you have, if the hash function, if the complexity of this hash function is very, very easy, then we can easily convert this message digest to message. It has to provide that complexity. So now try to understand what type of attacks we are going to have. The pre-image attack, secondary pre-image attack and collision attack. These three types of attacks we are going to have and our hash function has to provide resistance to those attacks. What is this attack? So let's try to understand one by one. Pre-image attack means, suppose if the hacker is having the message digest, he got the message digest, will he able to identify the message using this message digest? No. Our hash function should be that much complex. That is, the, that is how you have to design the hash function so that he is not able to convert this message digest to message. He is not able to invert that much complexity you have to provide. So we are going to provide that complexity. You are going to understand this complexity when we discuss the hash function in our coming classes. So this is what pre-image attack means. And identifying actual message is very, very difficult. If you go by random attack, random attack means it is not random attack. If you are having the message digest and if you want to invert this, if it is very complex, you cannot invert this. If you go by brute force attack means identifying messages, all messages, it is very, very impossible because exponential, if your message is of size 1024 bits minimum, then it is not possible to power 1024 combinations you have possibilities you have to check which is exponential it is going to take years to identify the value these basics covered in our last class coming to the next one secondary pre-image attack means if the hacker is having message and message digest he had both is he able to identify new message having the same message digest no it is also not possible he has to check all the possibilities of the bits means if your message is of length 5000 to power 5000 this example provided in our previous class exponential this is secondary pre-image attack what the next one is collision resistance collision attack means Nothing is given. Just identify two messages that gives the same digest, message digest. So that you can use one message as original and you can send the second one. There is a possibility to use these two messages to fraud someone. This is what collision resistance means. Sir. No, identifying two messages that gives the same message digest is also not possible because of exponential possibilities. So these are the type of attacks, pre-image attack. So the, the hash function should be resistance to those attacks. That is how you have to design the hash function. That is 
the complexity you have to provide in the hash function. We are stressing it here because when we discuss the hash function in our coming classes, you will see it is very, very complex to attack. Hope you understand hash function criteria. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.